Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a 2x Sacred Shard summoning event and a 10x Sacred Shard summoning event. And I really like how they added this Gaelic and Zergala here doing a snowball fight. That's really cool. Before in the past, it was like an ice rink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, before it was an ice rink with like Kale, all the starter champions besides uh, Elhain. But yeah, this is like, this is a really nice touch. Very nice job, Pilarium. But the 10x champion we're going to be talking about today that we're trying to pull for is Harima. Now, this champion is really, really good for endgame players that are pushing Plat Arena because on defense, she is really annoying because she's just doing a lot of damage mitigation. It's going to take you a little bit longer to try to take down the team because she's just doing a lot of damage mitigation. Now, she's going to make sure your enemy ignore defense effects are decreased by 50%. So like your Savage set, any built-in ignore defenses, stuff like that will be damage mitigated. So this is really a nice counter to like Baron, right? But this champion is someone that I really do want to go for and I'm I'm all in. I'm going all in for Harima with all my 18 sacred shards and hopefully I can get her. I guess you could say she's my most wanted legendary at the moment as far as non-void legendaries. I believe so because I'm not really missing too many. Oh, well, Renoas, I don't really need so much anymore, I don't think, because I got the uh, that new champion now with uh, Ronda. I forgot that name for a second. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anyone else that I'm really... Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else I'm really going for. I have her in the um, the fragment collecting, so I don't need to go for that. Yeah, right? I think that's... I guess like more Duchess is something I would want. More Kaimar is something I would want. Um, a Vizier I still don't have, surprisingly. Yeah, I think that just about covers it then. Yeah. So Harima, I guess that's technically my most wanted legendary as far as non-voice go, right? So. <laughs> I don't know who this is, but that's not what I normally say. But you're close, man. Let's get something amazing, please. You got to say correctly, friend, okay? If you don't say correctly, you're not going to get anything, all right? It's got to be let's get something amazing or... You gotta say, Plurian, please bless his account. It's one of those two or the other. So, with that being said, here we go. 18 sacred shards in a dream. Can we do it, guys? Please, Plurian. Please. Please give me something amazing. Here we go. Okay. Alright. Hopefully, I can get at least two legendaries out of this. That would be me saying it's a decent rate because... Man, my Sacred Shard luck has been pretty bad lately, not gonna lie. Especially on my account. Come on, can we hit it early? I might I might keep going even if I hit it early because I I would like to get more multiple Harimas actually. For empowerment, right? And it is a 2x summoning event, so why not? Alright, come on man. Don't do us dirty Plarium. Give it Okay. Oh! Wait, Marinix? Is she. I, what, I don't think she was a fusion, right? I don't think I have her at all, unless she was a fusion. Um, I don't remember. Text two enemies. It's a 50% chance of it. Okay, the hex. I think she is a fusion. Marinix, that sounds really familiar. She's either a fusion, a fragment summon, or was she some sort of... I have no idea. Okay, a defense down. Ignore unkillable, bust up there under hex. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not the most excited for her per se. Hex, it's a requirement. I, I think she is new. I think so. She's not new. So where did I get her from? I, I don't remember where I got her from, guys. Marinix. Where is she? Marinix was... She was a fusion, right? <laughs> she was a fusion, guys. Yeah. Yeah, she was a fusion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so that makes uh, two. Two Marinix. Very unfortunate. Okay, well, that is, uh, that's pretty bad. Continuing. Oh my gosh, like what? It's just always, it's always fusion 10x events, guys. Always. Like, when are we going to start getting the non-10, the non-fusion champions? Why is it always a fusion, huh? Come on. Come on, don't do a sturdy Plarium. Okay, another one. Oh, a third Cavalex that I got now? Huh. I mean, 
That's kind of interesting. I don't know what I would do with three Cavalaxes, but... Hmm. I could do two different builds for different things. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I mean, Cavalax is amazing. He is... His passive right here, it's everything. Places four poison, debuffs on all enemies for two turns at the start of each round. So this alone is really good. You pretty much don't need to focus too heavily on gear at all because of this. But if you do want to build him in damage, he actually does some decent damage as well. Uh, damage based on attack and enemy max HP. And he has a, tr a four hitter, or is it tr three hitter? Up to three. Three actually, so it is a four hitter. So I do use this guy in Fire Knight. I did use this guy in Speed Dragon comp for a long time. Like he is really, really good for speed compositions. Really, really good. So that is another early, that's an early legendary for sure. And we still have 12 to go. Come on, Plarium. Come on, give us the Karima. I really want Harima. Please. That's what we're here for, right? Are we going to get scammed today or not? Come on, Plarium. Okay, another one. Oh, no. No, not a girl hawk, man. Oh, yeah, this guy is. I mean, if if you're running, if you're running a a full orc team, okay, I, I can see this guy being usable, right? But on an account like that's already end game. Okay, let, let's see. For an early game player, uh, two attack two at a random, plays a speed decrease. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's definitely viable for sure. Tessel enemies. I don't think he's a strong hitter. I'm not really sure how much of a nuker he is. I don't think he's much. Um, steals turn meter, places weekend. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I can see him usable in areas, right? Like Fire Knight, that could be in uh, one spot. Um, I don't know how good his wave clearing is. I don't know how, what his uh, damage is for the AoE. Steel turn meter. Yeah, you know what? Fire Knight. Yeah, I guess uh, Grohawk could be decent for Fire Knight. He's definitely solid for Faction Wars, that's for sure. Continuing, we got three so far. Come on, Therium. We still want Harima. We still want the Harima badly. Deacon is an amazing champion. She, he's got the uh, speed aura. He's got the two and one ability with the Lysandra ability, like mini Lysandra. Steal turn meters, fill your turn meters, and then base. So fill, fill, fill your turn, fill your turn meter. Decrease their turn meters. Go again. AoE defense down, amazing. And a leech on day one. Fantastic champion. But we want Harima. Come on. We want Harima bad. Oh, come on, Plarium. Like, solid race so far. Solid race. It definitely exceeds my two that I was saying that I was hoping to get. But it wasn't Harima, right? We want Harima bad. Come on, man. Just give us the Harima. Give one more crack. Come on, Plarium. Come on. Are we going to see one more legendary here? Sandline Survivor is excellent as well. Amazing in Clan Boss. Uh, viable for Arena Defense. Just to be like really annoying. Okay. Rigor Sergeant is a solid, underrated champion, I would say. Um, amazing for Faction Wars for sure. Attack down, defense down on day one, AoE attack down, ally protection, heals on. Um, yeah, really, really solid. Come on, two left. Please, please. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this, Clarium. Come on, last one. <sighs> sad. Very sad, guys. Three legendary, and we cannot do it. Oh my gosh. Three legendaries, and we could not get it done. No Haruma for us. So, well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, guys. So we got a... We got a... Uh, Cavalax, we got a Grohawk. We got a... Marinex. <laughs> oh, joy. Well, I hope you guys have a much better summon session than I did. As far as trying to go for the champion you want. Um, yeah, yeah. So I will be streaming shortly if you guys want to join us for a Sharpool summon session, a Sharpool party that we're going to be pulling a bunch of shards for viewers. And if you guys want me to pull your shards as well, then I hope to see you there as well. So if you just want to tune in and watch, that's great too. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. If you enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.